Arbaminch. Arbaminch, Amharic, Ereba Niki Forty Springs, is a city and separate warder in southern Ethiopia. The first common name for this city was Gantagaro. Located in the Gamogova zone of the southern nations, nationalities, and peoples region about 500 km south of Addis Ababa, at an elevation of 1,285 m above sea level. It is the largest town in Gamogova zone and the second town in SNNPR next to Awasa. It is surrounded by Arba Minch Zuria Warder and the most resourceful zone in southern region including two largest lakes in Ethiopia, Chamo and Abaya, more than 40 springs, National Nexar Park, Crocodile Market, several fruits including banana, apple, mango, avocado, etc. Overview. Arba Minch received its name for the abundant local springs which produce a groundwater forest. Located at the base of the western side of the Great Rift Valley, Arba Minch consists of the uptown administrative center of Sheka and four kilometers away the downtown commercial and residential areas of Sikela, which are connected by a paved road. 1. On the eastern side of Sikela is the gate to Nekazar National Park, which covers the isthmus between Lake Abaya to the north and Lake Chamo to the south. 2. Buses and taxis connect the uptown and downtown parts. Both parts have schools. 3. Kulfo River flows through the town, and drains into Lake Chamo. Arba Minch is known as a source for fruit, including mango, banana, orange, apple, guava and pineapple, and is also known for its fish farms. Citation. Needed indicating its richness of fish a local singer named Abel Chedo sang the song, New der Gamo Gova Oitra Arba Minch Muziri Kalsi Yedda Zabaya Chamo Mol. Citation. Needed it is the home of Arba Minch University and the Southwest Synod of the Mechaniasis Church. The town also is served by Arba Minch Airport, ICAO code HAAM, IATAAMH. History. Arba Minch was founded in the early 1960s by then Fitaureri Amorosalasi Abebe and the city succeeded Chencha as the provincial capital of Gamo Gova. 4. The oral tradition has it that Fitaureri Imaro Selassie Abebe had to fight with prominent figures of Chencha, Abba Gaga, to move the capital from Chencha to Arbaminch. One of the reasons for Imaro Selassie Abebe to move the provincial center from Chencha to Arbaminch was for travelers from Gidol to Chencha to take a break after a long, hot crossing of the Arid Rift Valley. Citation. Needed roads were built linking the new town to Sodo and making Arbaminch only a day's journey by road to the capital, Addis Ababa. 4. A telephone line connecting the town to the capital, costing E $250,000, was turned up on 15 July 1967. 5. The Norwegian Lutheran Mission opened a station at Arba Minch in 1970, which included a trade school. The school's operation was later taken over by the Mekanyesis Church. At the beginning of the Ethiopian Revolution public demonstrations occurred in the town, six and four people were killed in clashes with the police on 28 March 1974. 5. Following the revolution privately held plantations were made into state farms. 6. The 193 million Burr Arba Minch textile mill was opened on 6 May 1992 in the presence of Ethiopian Prime Minister Tamarat Lane. The mill would produce polyester mixed with cotton gray fabrics. 5. According to the SNNPR's Bureau of Finance and Economic Development, as of 2003 other amenities in Arba Minch include postal service, 24-hour electrical service, a bank and a hospital. 7. May 2010, the Ethiopian Roads Authority awarded a contract worth $563 million e to the construction firm of Brahain Hagos to build a road 60 kilometers in length from this town to Belta. 8. The United States military operated a facility at Arba Minch from 2011 until September 2015. The facility served as the base for several General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper unmanned aerial vehicles. 9. Demographics. Based on the 2007 census conducted by the CSA, this town has a total population of 74,879, of whom 39,208 are men and 35,671 women. The majority of the inhabitants practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, with 56.04% of the population reporting that belief, 38.47% were Protestants, and 4.16% were Muslim. 
10 in the 2012, around the town of Arbor Minch, in the Arbor Minch district, there were 164,529 people, of whom 82,265 were male and 82,264 were female. In this district, 53.9% practiced Protestantism, 29.3% practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, 12.6% practiced traditional beliefs, and all other religious practices made up 4.1%. 11. The 1994 National Census reported this town had a total population of 40,020 of whom 20,096 were males and 19,924 were females. Arba Minch is a growing resort town in southern Ethiopia, situated by two large lakes that are separated by a land bridge. The lakes are at different altitudes. Get in. There are many daily village buses from nearby towns, including Awasa. Get around. Arba Minch is divided into two districts, Sikela and Sheka, that are separated by a couple of miles. Frequent minibuses connect the two. C. The main attraction is the national park containing the two lakes. You can try to go for yourself. Go inside at the main entrance 100 burr fee, per foot, bike or motorbike or even car. Forty Springs is located on the road 3 kilometers inside from the entrance and can be reached by foot. The springs itself are unspectacular. You can also organize the boat safari 1200 burr with the local guide association or by yourself upon arrival in the park. They will take you over Lake Chamo where you can see crocodiles, at a place called Crocodile Market, and various birds 2018. On the Lake Abayo you reach the shore and a ferry station right behind the crocodile farm and you will walk around with a ranger and you could watch monkeys, hornbill, zebra, dick dick and other antelope. 500 burr per person in total, September 2016, or just a tip for the ferry captain who shows you the way. Should be interesting finding out, where the locals go by these little ferry boats. Do. Visit the Doors villages in the hills to the east. There are many smaller villages around Chencha. There are public buses leaving every hour from and to Arba Minch for 40 burr and taking two hours. You could go on your own, take a guide in Chencha or take a guide from Arba Minch to visit the Doors. 250 burr for the guide, September 2016. There are many lodging options available in the Doors villages. If you go as far as Doors Lodge, it's 25 burr for the bus, or about 400, if you want to give a little tuk-tuk a really hard time on the stony and steep road. From the road it's about 15 minutes by foot to the lodge. From the lodge you can walk easily to the first village in 20 minutes, no guide needed, December 2018. Equals equals by equals equals the doors sell handwoven colorful simple carpets. Eat. One Azana Hotel. The courtyard of this pink hotel is a cheap place to eat, but the highlight is fast Wi-Fi. French toast, eggs, and omelets are available for breakfast. Traditional Ethiopian food, fish, and pasta for lunch and dinner. Two Rosa Hotel Pizza Restaurant. Run by a European, this is probably the only pizza place in Sheka. Pizzas are cooked in a wood fire oven. 80 to 100 burr for a pizza as of June 2014. Wubert Hotel, at the first roundabout in uphill Sheka. Luxurious and new restaurant, but excellent and decently priced. Apparently a dating place for locals. 30 to 80 burr, e.g. pasta 40 burr. September 2016. Sleep. Rift Valley Pension Down, Hotel Street, on the second roundabout in uphill Sheka, next to Azana Hotel. Best value in Arba Minch. Clean. Spacious rooms and the ladies at the bar will cook you a simple local meal. Coffee 3 Burr. The tour drivers from the guests at the luxurious lodges sleep here. Single 200 Burr, September 2016. Go next. Gentia. In the hills to the west. Conso. To the south. Hosina. Hosina, also spelled Hosaina or Hosaina, also called Hosanna, which has namesakes, an older name is Wachimo, is a town and separate warder in southern Ethiopia, and the administrative center of the Hadia Zone. Located in the Southern Nations, Nationalities, and Peoples Region, SNNPR, Hosina has a latitude and longitude of 7 degrees 33 and 37 degrees 51, e with an elevation of 2,177 meters above sea level. It was part of Limo Water and is surrounded by it. A nearby landmark is the rock-hewn Dewabalo Cave, whose rock-hewn pillars suggest that it is an unfinished monolithic church. 1. 
An all-weather road was built in 1963 by the Guruj Road Association, which connected Hosina to Addis Ababa by way of Welkite and Endabir. 2. According to the SNNPR's Bureau of Finance and Economic Development, as of 2003 Hosina's amenities include digital telephone access, postal service, 24-hour electrical service, a bank and a hospital. 3. History. In 1910 Hosina became the administrative center of the province of Hadia. The town was occupied by the Italians on the 11th of February 1937. By 1958 Hosina was one of 27 places in Ethiopia ranked as first-class township. 4. In 1929, a pair of missionaries settled in the town, their efforts leading to Hosina becoming a center of Protestant Christianity in southern Ethiopia. As early as December 1949, the town hosted a Bible conference, attended by 800 persons. In April 1970, the administrative center of the Kembata Synod of the Meccan Yesis Church was officially moved from Durain to Hosina. The synod was later renamed the South Central Synod. 4. Hosina currently is one of the 19 reform cities of the SNNPR. Demographics. Based on the 2007 census conducted by the CSA, this warder has a total population of 69,995, of whom 35,523 are men and 34,472 women. The majority of the inhabitants were Protestants, with 65.74% of the population reporting that belief, 24.6% practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, 6.57% were Muslim, and 1.99% were Catholic, whose Latin Catholic missionary pre-diocesan apostolic vicariate of Hosanna has its episcopal see at the St. Joseph Cathedral in Hosanna. The 1994 national census reported this town had a total population of 31,701 of whom 15,593 were men and 16,108 were women. However, the latest report made by the City Population Center, Hosina have a total population of 89,300 in the year 2011. 5. Hara. Hara, Harari, Riri Aromo, Adair Bio, are unknown to its inhabitants as gay, Harari, Gay 2 is a walled city in eastern Ethiopia. It is the capital of East Harag and the capital of the Harari region of Ethiopia. The city is located on a hilltop in the eastern extension of the Oromia, about 500 kilometers from the national capital Addis Ababa at an elevation of 1,885 meters. Based on figures from the Central Statistical Agency in 2005, Hara had an estimated total population of 122,000, of whom 60,000 were males and 62,000 were females. 3. According to the census of 1994, on which this estimate is based, the city had a population of 76,378. For centuries, Hara has been a major commercial center, linked by the trade routes with the rest of Ethiopia, the entire Horn of Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, and, through its ports, the outside world. Hara Jugol, the Old Walled City, was listed as a World Heritage Site in 2006 by UNESCO in recognition of its cultural heritage. 4. Because of Hara's long history of involvement during times of trade in the Arabian Peninsula, the government of Ethiopia has made it a criminal offense to demolish or interfere with any historical sites or fixtures in the city. These include stone homes, museums and items discarded from war. It is sometimes known in Arabic as the city of saints Madanat al Aulia. According to UNESCO, it is considered the fourth holy city of Islam, with 82 mosques, three of which date from the 10th century, and 102 shrines. 5 6. The Fath Madanat Hara records that the cleric Abadir Umar R. Reader and several other religious leaders settled in Hara circa 1216 612 R. 7. Hara was later made the new capital of the Adil Sultanate in 1520 by the Somali Sultan Abu Bakr ibn Muhammad. 8. The city saw a political decline during the ensuing Emirate of Hara, only regaining some significance in the Kedivate of Egypt period. During the Ethiopian Empire, the city decayed while maintaining a certain cultural prestige. Today, it is the seat of the Harari region. History. It is likely the original inhabitants of the region were the Hala people. 9. In its early history, the city was under an alliance called the Zela Confederate States. 10. According to 12th century Jewish traveler Benjamin Tudela, Zayla region was the land of the Havilah, confined by Al Habish in the west. 11 12. 
In the 9th century, Hara was under the Makzumi dynasty. 1314. Hara called Gay, the city, by its inhabitants Harari people. Hara emerged as the center of Islamic culture and religion in the Horn of Africa during end of the Middle Ages. According to the Fath Madanat Hara, an unpublished history of the city in the 13th century, the cleric Abadir Umar Arida, along with several other religious leaders, came from the Arabian Peninsula to settle in Hara circa 612 h 1216 CE. Abadir was met by the Hala Harari people Gaturi and Agoba. 15. Abadir's brother Fakir ad-Din subsequently founded the Sultanate of Mogadishu. 16. According to the 14th-century chronicles of Amda Cni, Get Gay, was an Arab colony in Hala country. 17. During the Middle Ages, Hara was part of the Adil Sultanate, becoming its capital in 1520 under Sultan Abu Bakr ibn Muhammad. The 16th century was the city's golden age. The local culture flourished, and many poets lived and wrote there. It also became known for coffee, weaving, basketry and bookbinding. From Hara, Ahmad ibn Ibrahim al-Ghazi, also known as Gri, and Gran, both meaning, the left-handed, launched a war of conquest in the 16th century that extended the polity's territory and threatened the existence of the neighboring Christian Ethiopian Empire. His successor, Emir Nur ibn Mujahid, built a protective wall around the city. 18. Four meters in height with five gates, this structure, called Jugol, is still intact and is a symbol of the town to the inhabitants. Silte, Woolen, Halaba and Harari, lived in Hara while the former three moved to the Guruj region. 19. The Emirate of Hara also struck its own currency, the earliest possible issues bearing a date that may be read as R615 equals AD 1218 19th but definitely by AD 1789 the first coins were issued, and more were issued into the 19th century. 20. Following the death of Emir Nur, Hara began a steady decline in wealth and power. A later ruler, Imam Muhammad Jassa, a kinsman of Ahmad Gran, yielded to the pressures of increasing Oromo raids and in 1577 abandoned the city, relocating to Osa and making his brother ruler of Hara. The new base not only failed to provide more security from the Oromos, it attracted the hostile attention of the neighboring Afars who raided caravans traveling between Hara and the coast. The Imams of Osa declined over the next century while Hara regained its independence under Ali ibn Dar Ud, the founder of a dynasty that ruled the city from 1647 until 1875, when it was conquered by Egypt. 21. Hara was very dependent on Berbera for trade since the Middle Ages. According to Sir Richard Burton, who visited both Berbera and Hara during his travels, he repeated a famous Harari saying he heard in 1854. He who commands at Berbera, holds the beard of Hara in his hands. 22 A significant portion of the trade between the two historic towns was controlled by merchants belonging to the Habarawal Somali clan, who also partook in the trade of the renowned Harari coffee beans which was named Berbera coffee in the international market. 23. During the period of Egyptian rule 1875-1884 Arthur Rimbaud lived in the city as the local functionary of several different commercial companies based in Aden. He returned in 1888 to resume trading in coffee, musk, and skins until a fatal disease forced him to return to France. A house said to have been his residence is now a museum. 24. In 1885, Hara regained its independence, but this lasted only two years until 6 January 1887 when the Battle of Chilenko led to Hara's incorporation into the Emperor Menelik II of Ethiopia's growing empire based in Shewa. Hara lost some of its commercial importance with the creation of the French-built Addis Ababa, Djibouti Railway, initially intended to run via the city but diverted north of the mountains between Hara and the Awash River to save money. As a result of this, Diadawa was founded in 1902 as New Hara. The British planned to revitalize the historic Berbera, Hara trade route by connecting the two cities via rail as a means to counter French influence in the region, however, the major infrastructure project was later abandoned. 25. Hara was captured by Italian troops under Marshal Rodolfo Graziani during the Second Italo-Ethiopian War on 8 May 1937. The 1st Battalion of the Nigeria Regiment, advancing from Jijiga by way of the Marda Pass, captured the city for the Allies 29 March 1941. 26. 
Following the conclusion of the Anglo-Ethiopian Agreement in 1944, the government of the United Kingdom were granted permission to establish a consulate in Hara, although the British refused to reciprocate by allowing an Ethiopian one at Hargeisa. After numerous reports of British activities in the Houd that violated the London Agreement of 1954, the Ethiopian Ministry of Foreign Affairs ordered the consulate closed March 1960. 27. In 1995, the city and its environs became an Ethiopian region, or Kilil, in its own right. A pipeline to carry water to the city from Dawa is currently under construction. According to Sir Richard Burton Hara is the birthplace of the cat plant. 28. The original domesticated coffee plant is also said to have been from Hara. 29. Climate. The climate of Hara is classified as subtropical highland climate CWB, in koppen geiger climate classification system. Throughout the year, afternoon temperatures are warm to very warm, whilst mornings are cool to mild. Rain falls between March and October with a peak in August, whilst November to February is usually dry. Demographics. In 1855 Richard Francis Burton described Hara as having an approximately 8,000 inhabitants. 2,500 Somalis, 2,500 Hararis, and 3,000 seasonal nomads. 31. Burton further reported a large Oromo presence leading to the town. 32. During his visit in the Kedavate of Egypt occupation of the Emirate of Hara, researcher Pultuski describes Hara as having roughly 40,000 inhabitants with 25,000 of these being Hararis, 6,000 Oromo, 5,000 Somalis, 3,000 Abyssinians as well as a minority of Europeans and Asians. 33. After the conquest of the Emirate of Hara by Ethiopian Empire, an influx of Amhara settled in Hara and its surroundings. 35. The Somali population of the town was decimated following the overthrow of Iasu V by Abyssinian militias. 36. Today the ethnic makeup of the town consists of Amhara 40.5%, Oromo 28.1%, Harari 11.8%, Guruj 7.9% and Somali 6.8%. 37, 38, 39. The religion with the most believers in Hara is Ethiopian Orthodox with 48.5%, 44.5% are Muslim, 6.1% Protestant. 40. The indigenous Harari and Somali natives who once were majority within the walled city are merely 18.6%, due to ethnic cleansing by the Haile Selassie regime. 41, 42. According to FINA, the Harari have not recovered from the 1948 government crackdown on their population. 43. The Somali tribes surrounding Hara are mainly from the Gadabua Sea and Issa subclans of the Deer and the Karenle subclan of the Hawiye. They represent the most native Somali clans in the region. 44. The Darad clans of the Jeri and Jidwak also inhabit areas near Hara. The Gadabua Sea and Jeri Somali strike immediately north and northeastwards of the town. Richard Francis Burton 1856 describes the Gadabua Sea and Jerry Somali clans as extending to within sight of Hara. 45 46. The Issa and Karenle Hawiye strike north and northwestwards whilst the Jidwak strike eastwards. 47 48. Attractions. Besides the stone wall surrounding the city, the old town is home to 110 mosques and many more shrines, centered on Ferrers Mauromo Square. Notable buildings include Medhain Alam Cathedral, the House of Ras Mekonnen, the House of Arthur Rimbaud, the 16th-century Jamie Mosque and historic Great Five Gates of Hara. Hara Bira Stadium is the home stadium for the Hara Beer Bottling FC. One can also visit the market. A long-standing tradition of feeding meat to spotted hyenas also evolved during the 1960s into an impressive night show for tourists. 49. See Spotted Hyenas in Hara. Other places of interest include the highest amber overlooking the city, the Kondudo or W mountain, which hosts an ancient population of feral horses. A 2008 scientific mission has unleashed efforts for their conservation, as the animals are greatly endangered. 50. The Hara Brewery was established in 1984. Its beers can be sampled at the brewery social club adjacent to the brewery in Hara. 51-52. Intercity bus service is provided by the Selim Bus Line Share Company. Notable residents. Main article, list of emirs of Hara. ABD Allah 2 Ibn. Ali, ABD Ash Shakur, last emir of Hara. 
Abadir Umar R. Rida, Muslim cleric. Amma Selassie, Emperor of the Ethiopian Empire, designate. Marfas, Imam and General of the Adil Sultanate. Bati Del Wambara, wife of Ahmad ibn Ibrahim al Ghazi. Nur ibn Mujahid, Emir of Hara. Abdullah al Harari, leader of al Arbash. Malik Ambar, leader of Ahmadnagar Sultanate. Backquote Ali ibn Dar backquote Ud, founder of Emirate of Hara. Haboba, first Emir of Hara. Arthur Rimbaud, the French poet, settled as a merchant in Hara between 1880 and 1891. Hara, sometimes spelled Hara or Hera, is an ancient city in eastern Ethiopia with a population of about 75,000. For centuries, Hara has been a major commercial center, linked by trade routes with the rest of Ethiopia, the entire Horn of Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, and, through its ports, the outside world. Hara Jugol, the Old Walled City, was included in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2006 in recognition of its cultural heritage. It is considered the fourth holiest city of Islam by Sunni Muslims, after Mecca, Medina and Jerusalem, with 82 mosques, three of which date from the 10th century, and 102 shrines. Get in. By bus. There is a bus service from Addis Ababa, the capital, and Daya Dawa. From Daya Dawa there are minibuses for 30 Ethiopian burrs. By car. Hara is 54 kilometers by asphalt road from Daya Dawa. By plane. Hara is served by Daya Dawa International Airport. Get around. The blue and white minibuses and rental vehicles are available. In the old town, Jugal, there is no need to take rickshaws, etc., as it is very walkable, and also as the alleyways are very narrow and crowded it is probably easiest to walk. C. A mansion that once housed the renowned French poet Arthur Rimbaud. The mansion is now converted to a museum. The old town is home to 99 mosques and many more shrines, centered on Ferrer's Mauromo Square. Notable buildings include Medhain Alam Cathedral and the 16th century Jamia Mosque. Abdullah Sheriff Museum, Hara Jugol, plus 251-25666-2017, envelope Abdullah at yahoo.com. Daily 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock, 1400 to 1800. 50 Burr. Updated September 2016. Do. A long-standing tradition of feeding porridge to hyenas one night a year on a shrine on the hill, developed in the 1960s into a nightly feeding show for the benefit of tourists. For a 100 burr fee, September 2016, as of July 2019 100 Ethiopian burrs for locals, 200 Ethiopian burrs for tourists, you can watch the hyena and feed them yourself with rotten meat. Any backyard tuk-tuk, or taxi driver knows the current place and can take you there at 7 o'clock for 100 to 200 burr. There are two feeding sites. The eastern one you can reach on foot, see Google Maps for the exact location. You do not need a guide 100 Ethiopian burrs, July 2019 but it might be nice to have someone to tell you info in English. Get lost in the old town of Hara, Jegel, and wander around brightly colored houses and small vendors. Some local houses can be visited, the guides will show you which one or try to find them on your own. At the meat market inside the old town one can see birds of prey sitting around, where they wait for their moment to snatch a piece of meat. Not during the summer. Bye. Handicrafts are available at the market. The spice market just outside the walls near the bus station, has a huge variety of coffee and spices and is worth a visit. Hara Coffee. Updated August 2019. Eat. Sleep. There are very few mid-range accommodations. Daya Dawa has a better selection of hotels and restaurants. Tewodro's Hotel, from 250 Burr Double, a friendly, bit rundown place next to the main road just outside the wall. The owner is a friendly guy who knows everybody as he is working as a guide for a long time. Tourist Hotel, from 40 Burr, single, very noisy, disco come brothel, try to get one of the rooms which are furthest from the disco area. Amir Redwin Guesthouse, Argababari, plus 251-912-601-956. Check in, anytime, check out, 12 o'clock. A traditional Harari house founded by tourist guide Amir Redwin. 350 Burr. Sheriff Guest House, Jegel, marked on Google Maps. A cozy and clean place, bathroom inside, running water, friendly staff. Located near Eastern Hyena Feeding Site.
Updated August 2019. Go next. To Addis Ababa there are buses leaving daily early morning, 4.30 or 5 a.m. Tickets for 350 Ethiopian burrs July 2019. Buy your ticket a few days in advance. There are a few companies and most of the offices are located at Charleville Avenue, near Bank of Abyssinia. The ride takes 11 hours and takes you to Mescal Square in Addis. Dilla, Ethiopia. Dilla, Amharic. Dilla is a market town and separate warder in southern Ethiopia. The administrative center of the Gedeo zone in the Southern Nations, Nationalities, and Peoples Region, SNNPR, it is located on the main road from Addis Ababa to Nairobi. The town has a longitude and latitude of 6 degrees 24 minutes 30 seconds north 38 degrees 18 minutes 30 seconds east, with an elevation of 1,570 meters above sea level. It was part of Wenigo Warder and is currently surrounded by Dilla Zuria Warder. Until the completion in the early 1970s of the tarmac road to the Kenya border, Dilla had been located at the southern end of the all-weather road from Addis Ababa and thus became the major transfer and marketing point for coffee grown farther south, particularly of the much-prized Yiga Chef varietal, see coffee varietals. It remains a major center of the coffee trade. According to the SNNPR's Bureau of Finance and Economic Development, as of 2003 Dilla's amenities include digital telephone access, postal service, 24-hour electrical service, numerous banks, and a hospital. 1. Dilla is the site of the Dilla College of Teachers Education, which was founded in 1996 and was part of Dubov University. The college become a full-flagged university since 2007 and composed of more than 30 programs to master's and bachelor's degree. 2. A number of archaeologically significant steely fields are in the surrounding area, the most notable groups being those at Tutu Fela and Tutu T. History. Around 1930, groups of Guji Oromo migrated into the area, and by the time a German ethnological EXP ion arrived, they had begun the process of becoming settled farmers. Shortly after the capture of Shashemen in May 1941, a mobile force, consisting of one company of the Natal Mounted Rifles and the 6th Car, with light tanks and armored cars, moved forward towards Dilla. Almost to its own surprise, this scouting operation cut off the retreat of the 21st and 24th Italian divisions, pinning them against the east side of Lake Abaya. 3. By 1958 Dilla was one of 27 places in Ethiopia ranked as first-class township. The Imperial Railway Company of Ethiopia carried out surveys for extending the railway with a 310 km line from Adama to Dilla between 1960 and 1963. The government formed a Nazareth Dilla Railway Development Corporation to support this new branch. Although the French government offered a loan to fund this new branch in 1965, and Yugoslav experts had studied and thought the project would be worthwhile, this project was never carried out. 4. Outside Dilla is Mitchell, Masail Hill, where a peasant uprising by the Gedeo people was crushed in 1960. Gedeo elders, invited by Afanega Seshet Garda to meet him and discuss the grievances with the feudal system they lived under, were ambushed and slaughtered by the army. 5. On the 22nd of July 1998 there were violent clashes near Dilla. The press published conflicting statements about who the parties were and how many had been killed. Ethiopian government spokeswoman Selim Tadis said that about 140 people were killed and large numbers at least temporarily displaced. 3. On October 12, 2008, Bekel Girma, an all-Ethiopian Unity Party AEUP activist, left AEUP's head office in Addis Ababa to open an office in Dilla. Despite having a letter from the National Election Board of Ethiopia requesting regional government officials to assist him in opening a local office, Dilla Police Chief Officer Hundasa detained Bekel and refused to allow him to open an office in that town. Bekel was released in November. 6. Demographics. Based on the 2007 census conducted by the CSA, this town has a total population of 59,150, of whom 31,068 are men and 28,082 women. The majority of the inhabitants were practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, with 41.65% of the population reporting that belief, 39.2% were Protestants, 15.93% were Muslim, and 2.68% were Catholic. 7. 
The 1994 national census reported this town had a total population of 33,734 of whom 17,346 were men and 16,388 were women. Nakemt. Nakemt Aromo, Nakamti, Amharic, Keti Romanized, Nakamt, also called Nakamti, one is a market town and separate warder in western Ethiopia. Located in the East Welaga zone of the Oromia region, Nakemt has a latitude and longitude of 9 degrees 5 and 36 degrees 33, e and an elevation of 2,088 meters. Nakemt was the capital of the former Welaga province, and is home to a museum of Welaga Oromo culture. It is a burial place of Onsimos Nezeb, a famous Oromo who translated the Bible to Oromo language for the first time, in collaboration with Astagano. It is also the seat of an apostolic vicariate of the Roman Catholic Church, too. Nakemt is host city to the newly built Wallaga University as of 2007. 3. It is served by an airport that is not currently open to commercial flights. Nakemt is at the center of the road network for southwestern Ethiopia. The first major road dates to the early 1930s, with a road that extended from the capital Addis Ababa west through Addis Alam, although the road was passable only by lorries for the 255 kilometers between Addis Alam and Nakemt. 4. A road connecting Nakemt to Gimbi, 110 kilometers in length, was part of the first stage of the third highway program in 1963. Postal service for this city has been present as early as 1923. A branch of the Ethiopian Electric Light and Power Authority began providing electricity to the city by 1960. By 1957, phone service extended to the city. 2. History. Nakemt was formerly overshadowed by nearby Lieka and Bilo, the former regional markets. Nakemt acquired some importance when Bekara Gadana and later his son Moroda Bekara made it the capital of their kingdom of Welaga in the mid-19th century. Under Merida's son comes a Moroda Gebregtsi of a Moroda after converting to Christianity, the town continued in its importance as it submitted to Shuan rule. The Russian explorer Alexander Bulatovich visited Nakem the 13th of March 1897. In memoirs he describes its marketplace as a very lively place and presents a motley mixture of languages, dress, and peoples, and carefully described the paintings in the town's newly constructed Ethiopian Orthodox Church. 5. In 1905, a central government customs office was officially opened in Nakemt. Construction on a hospital began in 1927, and was completed in 1932 with Swedish funds as well as contributions from Ras Tafari, who later became Emperor Haile Selassie. It formally opened 16 February 1932, although it had already been in operation for eight months. 2. The artist Daniel Twaif was born in 1934 in or near Nakemt. He studied in the United States in 1955-1957 and in Paris in 1971. He made more sculptures than paintings and became employed at the National Museum in Addis Ababa. Another from in this area was Marmo Tessema, who was born in 1935. He was trained at the handicraft school in the school and went to the U.S. for higher studies in 1958. He designed ceramics and also wrote some publications, too. By 1935 Nakemt had become the most important town in Welaga. There were nearly 70 foreign residents before the Italian occupation, mostly merchants and missionaries. 23 importers-exporters had agencies there, most of whom were Indians, but these also included two Greeks, a Lebanese, and an Armenian. 6. The British explorer Dunlop, who spent four days of the same year in that town, noted that its central location on the main trade route between Addis Ababa and the Anglo-Sudan led to it having, developed enormously during the preceding few years, as the new school, warehouses, stores, and hospital testified. 7. During the Italian invasion, Nakemt was bombed by the Italians 5 July 1936. This included dropping 19 bombs on the recently constructed school complex of the local Swedish mission. Dejazmik Habte Mayim, governor of Welaga, accepted the Italians and received Colonel A. Morone who arrived by air on 14 October and the troops of Colonel Malta who reached the town on 24 October, after having marched by foot and mule for 12 days from Addis Alam, which weakened Ras Imru Haile Selassie's attempts as Prince Regent to establish a center of resistance at Gore. 
After his successful return to Ethiopia, on 20 May 1941 Emperor Haile Selassie visited Welaga where fighting still continued and where Kebedate Sema was in charge of the Arbegnik. When he attempted to visit Nakemt, his party came under artillery fire. 2. A public address system was installed in the central square in Nakemt and in 10 other towns, in 1955, used for receiving transmission from Radio Addis Ababa and rebroadcasting it. In 1957 Haile Selassie I School was opened, one of nine provincial secondary schools in Ethiopia and outside Eritrea. At that time Nakemt was still the end point of the telephone line westward. The Tafari Makonnen Leprosarium founded that year, also had a home school for children of leprous parents. 2. Head of State Mengistu Haile Mariam visited Nakemt during a formal tour in March-May 1979. In that same year, over 300 evangelical Christians had been imprisoned for political reasons. 2. Early in 1991, the Ethiopian Fourth Revolutionary Army had its headquarters at Nakemt. The Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front captured Nakemt on 2 April 1991, as part of Operation Freedom and Equality Dula Bilisamar Fi Walkiksamar. In response, the Oromo Liberation Front OLF said in a broadcast on the radio voice of Oromo Liberation, Frankfurt am Main, on 15 April 1991, the OLF strongly opposes the phrase, liberating Welaga or the Oromo nation. It is false for any alien force to say that it will liberate the Oromo nation. 2. After the Ethiopian trade mission in the Somaliland city of Hargeza was hit by a suicide bomb attack, which killed at least four Ethiopian civilian lives on 29 October 2008, three human rights activists working for the Ethiopian Human Rights Council in Nakemt were arrested, but were released by 27 November. 8. Climate. The city has a Mill Highland subtropical climate Koppen, CWB. With a higher elevation less than Addis Ababa, Nakemt has a slightly higher average temperature, differing mainly in the low averages. The average annual temperature is 18.3 degrees Celsius high, 24 degrees Celsius and low, 12.6 degrees Celsius although to the north of equator March is the warmest month and July the coldest month. It has one of the highest rainfall in Ethiopia in a short time. With more than 2,080 mm, it is one of the rainiest places in the country. Nakemt is on an imaginary line where the western winds give places to the orient winds. 9-10. It is one of the seven rainiest cities in the country. 11. Recently in the last decade the annual average temperature of single meteorological station had a reduction of the average annual temperature to the value of the beginning of the decade of 1990, but are still higher than since the beginning of the record, around the year of 1970. The last few years of record had a greater precipitate at the same time as during a period of the 1980s there was one of the most sealed years of record history. 12. Education. Africa Beza College. Wallaga University. New Generation University College. Rift Valley University. Nakem Technical and Vocational. Kiamd University College. Harbar University College. Demographics. The 2007 National Census reported a total population for this warder of 75,219, of whom 38,385 were men and 36,834 were women. The majority of the inhabitants were Protestant, with 48.49% of the population reporting they observed this belief, while 39.33% of the population said they observed Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, and 10.88% were Muslim. 13. Based on figures from the Central Statistical Agency in 2005, this city has an estimated total population of 84,506 of whom 42,121 were males and 42,385 were females. 14. The 1994 census reported this town had a total population of 47,258 of whom 22,844 were males and 24,414 were females. Nakemt is the largest city in Gito Wai'u Warda. Sports. Association football is the main sport in Nakemt. The Welaga Stadium, which has a capacity of 50,000, is the largest sports venue by capacity in Nakemt. It opened in 2019 and the stadium is also mainly used for football, and also for athletics. Deborah Bahan. 
Debra Bahan Amharic, Deba Birahani Romanized, Dabra Bran formerly spelled Debra Bahan, one is a city in Warda in central Ethiopia. Located in the Semian Shewa zone of the Amhara region, about 120 km northeast of Addis Ababa on Ethiopian Highway 2, the town has an elevation of 2,840 meters, which makes it the highest town of this size in Africa. It was an early capital of Ethiopia and afterwards, with Ankoba and Angolala, was one of the capitals of the Kingdom of Shewa. Today, it is the administrative center of the Semian Shewa zone of the Amhara region. History Origins. Deborah Bahan was founded by Emperor Zara Yaakob, in response to a miraculous light that was seen in the sky at the time. Believing this was a sign from God showing his approval for the death by stoning of a group of heretics 38 days before, the emperor ordered a church built on the site, and later constructed an extensive palace nearby, and a second church, dedicated to St. Syriacus. Zara Yaakob spent 12 of the last 14 years of his life in Deborah Bahan. Historian Richard Pankhurst offers the date of 1456 for the date of the founding of this church, providing a plausible argument that the light in the sky was Halley's Comet, which could have been in Shewa that year, although the traditional date's tenth day of the month of Magabit, i.e. 6 or 7 March do not coincide with the days that the comet was most visible 13 through 17 June 2. While his son Bida Mayim did spend the first part of his reign in Deborah Bahan, eventually Bida Mayim returned to the established itinerant practice of living in a permanent encampment that was constantly on the move through the realm. The departure of the court led to a decline in the population and importance of this town. Pankhurst explains that the needs of the imperial court and army, who numbered in the thousands, for firewood and food was so burdensome that, it could not remain in any one locality for more than four months, nor return to the same place in less than ten years due to the resultant shortage of food, three which prevented the growth of any capital city in this period. 16th-18th century. While little more than a large village, Deborah Bahan is mentioned a few times in the 16th century, the first time as a mustering center by Emperor Levna Dengel against the invading armies of Ahmad Gran. 4. After he had defeated Levna Dengel at the Battle of Amber Cell, Ahmad mustered his troops twice in Deborah Bahan before leading them on campaigns deeper into Ethiopian territory. At the second mustering in 1535, he proclaimed before his followers, Thanks be to God, Abyssinia is conquered. Only Tigray, Begemda and Gojima left. Shall we march against them, or shall we stay on in this region for a year until we have settled it down? Then led them into the Ethiopian highlands. 5. 19th century. The village regained importance in the reign of Asfa Wasson 1775-1808 Meridasmic of Shewa, who built a palace there, and divided his time amongst this town, Ankoba and Angolala. 6. The succeeding Meridasmishes prized Deborah Bahan as a hunting lodge for its surrounding plains, and used it as a riding place. 7. His son Saul Selassie rebuilt Deborah Bahan after it had been ravaged by Abitua Romo at the beginning of his reign, and built a church dedicated to the Selassie Trinity, in this capital. 8. When then Negus Menelik submitted to Emperor Johannes IV in the Treaty of Wadara of 1878, it was also stipulated that the capital of Shewa would be moved from Lich to Deborah Bahan. 9. The Deborah Bahan market in the 1880s was considered important for mules and horses. The Selassie Church was rebuilt by Emperor Menelik in 1906 and contains many mural paintings. 10. David Buxton believes that it was inevitable that Deborah Bahan would regain importance, although a somewhat cold and inhospitable place, he writes about the town, it has an obvious advantage as commanding what must always have been an important focus of routes. Even in modern times it was inevitable that the Asmara Road should be brought through this easy passage, avoiding the impassable gorges on the other. 11. 20th century. Deborah Bahan received electricity in 1955 when a 90 kilowatts hydroelectric power station was put into service. By 1965, the installed electrical capacity in the town was 125 kVA and annual production 103,000 kilowatt hours. On 26 April 1957, Emperor Haile Selassie opened the community teacher training school in the town. 12. By 1958 it was one of 27 places in Ethiopia ranked as first-class township. 10. On 2 July 1994 it was broadcast that nine people were killed and 11 captured in an exchange of fire with security forces in Asaga at Warda.
The people were alleged to have broken into the Deborah Bahan prison before that, setting a number of prisoners free. According to the police, Andale Meliklu, the Deborah Bahan representative of the All Amhara People's Organization was one of the bandits killed in the fire exchange. 10. Demographics. Based on the 2007 national census conducted by the Central Statistical Agency of Ethiopia (CSA), this town has a total population of 65,231, of whom 31,668 are men and 33,563 women. The majority of the inhabitants practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, with 94.12% reporting that as their religion while 3.32% of the population said they were Muslim and 2.15% were Protestants. 13. The 1994 national census reported a total population for Deborah Bahan of 38,717 in 8,906 households, of whom 17,918 were men and 20,799 were women. The five largest ethnic groups reported in the town were the Amhara 90.12%, the Oromo 3.94%, the Tigrayan 1.81%, the Guruj 1.6%, and the Agoba 1.2%. All other ethnic groups made up 1.33% of the population. Amharic was spoken as a first language by 93.81%, Oromifa was spoken by 3.04%, and 1.5% spoke Tigrinya, the remaining 1.65% spoke all other primary languages reported. The majority of the inhabitants practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, with 94.59% reporting that as their religion, while 4.05% were Muslim, and 1.02% Protestant. 14. Climate. Deborah Bahan is one of the coolest cities found in the subtropical zone of Ethiopia. The city has a typical subtropical highland climate Koppen CWB. The average annual temperature of the city during day and night hour is 20.7 degrees Celsius and 8.2 degrees Celsius respectively with precipitation 964 mm. 15. Local economy. Deborah Burhan is located along Ethiopian Highway 2, which connects Addis Abeba with the north of the country. The gravel road between Deborah Burhan and Ankoba, 42 km in length, was overhauled in May 2009. 17. The Deborah Burhan Wool Factory, the first wool factory in Ethiopia, started production was 1 January 1965 with 120 spindles and 6 looms, having the capacity to process 1 metric ton of wool daily. In its first six months, the factory produced 7,065 blankets in a single shift operation with a labor force of about 200, of whom 45% were women. The Derg government announced 3 February 1975 that the Deborah Bahan Wool Factory was among 14 textile enterprises to be fully nationalized. 10. Deborah Bahan is also a famed center of rug making. Landmarks. Despite its historical importance, none of the buildings Emperor Zara Yaakov built exist today, and no obvious 19th-century construction is visible. The present church, although located on the site of the 15th-century church, was built in 1906 at the orders of Emperor Menelik II. International relations. Deborah Bahan is twinned with sister city of Leblanc-Mesnel in France.